Okay. Um, for the first, uh, welcome to this uh, Make It Work event. And uh, what is work-based learning in secondary vocational education and training? And what opportunities it provides for the students and companies? That's the agenda today. And now we are focusing on Omnia ICT and media students and as well the A-grid startups here in Otaniemi. And this event is arranged by Omnia and we are in Omnia makerspace at A-grid currently. And um, this morning, uh, first uh, we will uh, share some background from Omnia and uh, what does this uh, work-based learning mean, especially on these uh, sectors. Then we have some question and answer time and then the startups present uh, themselves and what they have on offer. And you can use chat uh, during all, all this um, event. Uh, it's, uh, the chat button is below there in the middle and the chat will, if you use a desktop, I think it's, or if you have mobile phone, it's uh, over the uh, screen. And um, keep your mic on video, um, especially mic shut uh, to the point uh, when you have your turn or you have something to say. And uh, you can find the controls uh, there as I just mentioned. And uh, on Zoom, um, on, sorry, on, on mobile, if you use your phone, uh, uh, most likely the Zoom app is the place to go. Otherwise, the, uh, for example, the audio won't work properly and the controls for those are on the top. This session will be recorded and info on the participants, uh, participating startups and their contact information will be available on, the, on our page that is currently down, excuse us, we don't know the reason yet, but uh, the info will be on opiva.omnia.fi slash makerspace slash make it work. I will paste that one to the chat as well. So especially if you are a student and listening to this, where do you find the information of these uh, awesome startups? It will be on that page that is there um, uh, on the chat now. Yeah, and then the web page and uh, the content will stay, uh, the contact uh, will stay available at least uh, two weeks from, from this point. But students um, think that uh, now we have a selection of those uh, cutting edge startups here. And many of your colleagues uh, are interested in finding a work-based learning opportunity there. So be quick to react and contact the startups right away if you are interested and um, even during this session or right after the session. You can even use the chat. Um, um, when you select the chat, you can chat to everyone or write to the specific person on say, a, send a message to them. So we have sort of half an hour for this intro and Omnia presentation presentations and uh, then half an hour for the startups. Some of these are pre-recorded videos and some are uh, live uh, sessions here on chat. And if you ha have prepared to uh, give your elevator speech uh, live, use the, uh, when it's your turn, put your mic on and if needed, use the share screen button and then you can share your presentation if you have such. So uh, open your presentation before your turn and then just use the share screen button to locate the proper window or, or then you can of course uh, uh, share the whole screen in order to show it to everyone. Yeah, okay. Ooh. We are happily here. So we will start now uh, for the first, um, it, it will be a, a video presentation on 
ICT studies and a bit about the work-based learning as such. And uh, student counselor uh, Tina Isovita has prepared a video for us. And uh, I think she is currently, uh, let's see, online as well. So uh, she uh, can uh, answer to your questions uh, later on. But um, yeah, Sim, could you please uh, share the video? Hello, my name is Tiina Isovita, and I'm a guidance counselor in Omnia. Uh, I'm telling you about uh, vocational qualification in information and communications technology. The qualification consists of the following qualification titles. Electronics assembler, network installer, IT support specialist, and software developer. Electronics assemblers um, perform installations, uh, testing servicing tasks related to electronic installations. Uh, for instance, they secure parts or uh, components uh, of electronic devices, uh, and they know how to handle materials and components used in electronic installations. And when you think of the workplaces where they work, um, they could uh, repair mobile phones, for instance, or, or computers or uh, anything that has something to do with uh, electronics. Network installers uh, install cabling for data networks uh, according to customers' uh, requirements. Uh, and uh, they pay attention to structures of data networks. Um, they, for instance, install server hardware and software infrastructure um, and um, install computer networks. Um, and uh, they carry out measurements and tests that are required uh, to ensure they, the operation of the system works. IT support specialists, uh, they um, analyze, troubleshoot, evaluate uh, technology issues. Uh, they are able to uh, work in information and communications technology environment, uh, consisting of workstations, network devices, accessories, and areas of operation. Uh, and uh, they work as part of information management and, uh, and uh, they work uh, with their customers face-to-face uh, -face or through a remote connection. Software developers, they are able to carry out programming. They utilize interfaces, they handle data and use version management. Uh, they design, test, uh, and develop software. Uh, they recommend software updates. They they working with their customers uh, and and uh, they plan the implementation of the software and uh, make sure that um, it it functions properly. Uh, usually, uh, with on the job learning, uh, there's a teacher from the school who comes and and uh, checks that everything uh, goes well, visits the workplace. Uh, then there's a working life representative at the workplace uh, who is uh, guiding the student uh, and then telling, uh, in, giving instructions of what to do at, at the workplace. And um, um, the student uh, doesn't get paid, um, but uh, then there are uh, situations where uh, the company would like to hire the student and the student gets paid. And uh, in that case, um, apprenticeship training is, is um, what, what we could include in the studies.
Wonderful. And uh, special thanks also uh, to our digi digi tutor uh, media student, Vivi Pack, who uh, edited this video clip. Um, let's go uh, straight to the uh, media studies and I will see the list of, of participants. And from media studies, we have present, uh, there is present um, Jari Tenhunen. Jari, could you share some uh, thoughts about uh, media studies, please? All right. So uh, in media studies, uh, the students are learning uh, quite uh, many different uh, fee in, in different fields. They can specialize in video production, uh, graphic design, uh, and uh, game uh, production, 3D, uh, and also in, in animation. And the, and the work based learning is uh, quite similar as uh, was uh, described in the video uh, in the IT. Our students uh, quite uh, uh, independently are searching for uh, workplaces and, and contacting the, 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 the companies and the companies can then choose uh, the appropriate uh, student for the job. Also the other way around is, is would be would be nice if the companies needs a student with a certain uh, set of skills so they can then uh, like inform us and, and we can then inform the students that, that this kind of job is, is available. So in a, in a short way, that's it. <laughs> Kiitos Jari, thanks a lot. And uh, as you saw the, the one specimen or example of what media students are capable of was this uh, interview of, of Tina Isovita uh, just a moment ago. Yeah, and uh, then, um, so these are the two sectors that we are uh, sort of focusing right now. And uh, surely there are other, uh, for example, in the business, admi uh, business, business administration, but uh, we don't uh, cover those so well right now. We will go back to that uh, next year. But then we have uh, two of Omnia's web-based learning teachers um, here we have Pia Ropponen and Ulla-Maja Arminen. And uh, Ulla-Maja, uh, you coordinate this uh, work-based learning and you have uh, some short presentation and uh, some further uh, ideas. Could you share those, please? Yes, good morning. On behalf of myself and the other work-life work um, coordinator teachers, I will share a couple of slides so I will inform you more about if you provide uh, the place for our student, for example. Yes, I can now share. No. Yes, and then I will start the... Can you see this? Yeah, wonderful. Okay, so first, just a couple of words about um, what the work-life coordinator teachers do. So my name is Ulla Maijarminen and I'm one of the six work-life coordinators from Omnia. And uh, of course, we hope close cooperating, cooperation between the companies with you and our institute. And one of our job is to help companies and our students to find each other, because uh, some fields, uh, the companies need students, but uh, the students and the companies, they don't meet. meet. I don't know why it's, it's um, in some fields, it's difficult, but our job is to help both parties. And hopefully we have mutual interest concerning about the work-based learning possibilities 
for both parties. And uh, some benefits are, of course, that the companies will get students who assist, who work there for free mainly. But like uh, Tina mentioned, we also have this apprenticeship um, uh, way of, of working uh, the, for the students and then the companies will pay for the students. So we have two ways. And uh, of course, the student get the work life experience, which is very, very important for their studies. And, and um, so their studies will progress little by little. But here are some information if you provide a work based learning place for Omnia student. So uh, it's actually the law which says a couple of things um, when the student goes to the workplaces. And one is that the student needs always to have specific learning goals. But it's always the teacher who is responsible, uh, who is always responsible of the student's study path, study plan, planning and setting the goals together with the student uh, when he or she is in the workplace. workplace. So it's, it's not the workplace responsibility, it's, it's the teachers and the student. Teachers job is also to open the work based learning process to you, if you provide the place and help the workplace in structures. And like Tina mentioned, the teachers will come at least twice to the workplaces at the beginning when they sign the contract and, and at the end when the um, uh, skills demonstration competence is assessed. As a workplace instructor, your role is to assist the teacher in the planning process and of course in cooperation. Workplace instructor is the specialist uh, on the work environment in question. So you know what the students can do and what it's not possible to do. And then after setting the goals to this study unit and agreeing the specific, uh, it's uh, your responsibility to provide the student the proper guidance during whole workplace learning period. And that's the law saying that, at, that the student has to have um, the guidance. If any problem acquire, contact the teacher as soon as possible. And even if you have any small questions or hesitations, uh, this, it's important that the stu uh, teachers know what's going on. And student needs and is entitled to have continuous feedback, like I mentioned, that's the law. If competence demonstrations is included, the work-based learning period will take part in assessment of competence as a working life representative. So you will be one of the um, representative who will decide the, um, the uh, what, what uh, number the student gets from the competence assessment. That's also the law. And uh, we are offering you for free the um, it's the first time uh, the workplace in structured training. And uh, actually, where is it? Oh. Here it is. Uh, it's uh, next March, 23rd of March. And it's, um, it's through uh, Teams. It takes uh, four hours. And after completing this training, you will have competence to act as a workplace instructor. And the role combines planning, guiding, work-based learning in vocational education. And the training provides needed knowledge for assessment of competence in working life. The themes of the training are initial, uh, initial uh, planning, work-based learning, and competence assessment. So uh, we really hope that we can uh, work together and um, and you can contact us the work uh, work life um, teachers if you need um, student and you want get
get the student um, uh, by yourself. So we, we can try to help you and, and um, so we hope we will do um, cooperation with you. But if you have any questions, there are two of my colleagues, two work-life uh, teachers here. We can try to answer your questions if you want to ask. Awesome. Thank you, Ulla Maja. Yeah, in addition to Pia, there is Juha Kallioinen, who just said hello in the in the beginning. And uh, let's um, may I uh, ask the first question. So Ulla Maja, uh, you have this wonderful opportunity for the uh, startups and the uh, entrepreneurs to take part for free to the uh, training. But is it so that uh, if they need uh, students now, they that's not obligatory. So they can uh, start uh, having students even without this uh, training. Yes, uh, then the teachers will help. But of course, it's always, always uh, better if you have done this uh, training. But of course, you can you can show the interest and get the students right now. Like I mentioned, it's always the teacher's responsibility to help you and, and, and start the workplace uh, learning. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Here was just one ICT teacher, Jaakko Longa, who, is, uh, who was uh, following here and uh, going uh, forward. Okay, um, yeah. Um, I think that the um, best way is that because we have something like 30 people online, if you choose the participants button, you get the pop-up window at least on desktop machines and then there is a, a button saying raise hand. So if you have questions, if you start by raising your hand and then uh, it doesn't happen that everybody will shout at the same time. No hands raised. Then, uh, is there any any further question uh, without raising a hand? So, if there is not many who would like to ask something. Oh, Tina, Yari, and Ulamaya were so concise and so clear that everything is sort of easy to understand now. Hey. That was the Omnia part, and, um, and feel free, uh, you, you, uh, our uh, startups, uh, feel free to ask us anytime if you uh, are hesitating something and or pop in to the, or send a message to us and ask for more. Now, uh, we have a wonderful uh, set of, I think, 10 startups who, who had uh, told that they are they wish to share their um, thoughts and uh, their opportunities with uh, with students and we start with those uh, that uh, have made a, a pre-recorded short video and uh, as far as I uh, am, um, as far as I know so we we will have Ainak absentus add composites Kronoverk and Sensmet. We have five videos first, and then we have Kyky uh, Today, uh, Inno Edu, Kumukor, Netradar, and Tramigo as live in this order. And if there are other uh, possible uh, startups online that I don't recognize now, uh, after these. And uh, if you are doing a uh, Live, keep your elevator speech, speech about two minutes or so, so uh, we don't exceed our time limit so much. Okay, uh, Sim, could you um, share with us the uh, video by Ainak, uh, made by Aditya Premi? Hello, everybody. Great to be here at Omnia Makerspace. My name is Timo Pastelan. I'm here to tell you briefly about Ainak. We are an exciting international startup focusing on mixed reality. I, how to bring the future to the present just with your mobile phone. We sell our software to businesses to redesign spaces by placing furniture machines to the existing space using augmented reality. So you could, for example, redesign this space simply by taking a mobile phone and placing, for example, new furniture equipment here using augmented reality and then saving this result to the web 
so that anybody can see them, share them, and collaborate on them. In our marketing communications, visual media, and especially video, are in very important role. So we have used videos successfully also earlier, and I will, I will show you a video which I have made in the past here. Look carefully, because that will give you some ideas about us and what kind of videos we have been doing. So here you can see a video we have been shooting through our old version of our mobile application, and we are going to, to use uh, this kind of application also in the future, our new versions, and we are going to make a new version of this video which will bring it to the completely new level. So any ideas which you can get from this video, uh, those will be helping us to make it really a widespread, globally interesting video for different people. So we'll, the video will be available for you as a link, and uh, you can look at it, generate ideas, and, and uh, see how to excite people. So if you're excited, welcome to join INAC International Team for this cool video exercise. And if you get more excited, there's also a chance that we can find more similar projects in the future, because videos are very important for us. Kiitoksia, tervetuloa mukaan oppimaan paljon uutta jännittävän mixed reality-teknologian ja kansainvälisen tiimin kanssa. Yeah, um, thank you, uh, Ainak was this company. And Arto, you said that uh, you can't hear. Uh, yeah, I, I second to that, that it was uh, quite low, the uh, uh, volume level. So uh, it seems that it was recorded a bit, a bit low. And um, uh, seem uh, check that your uh, uh, volume is as as high as possible. But then, when we are listening, we can of course uh, alter our own volume uh, levels. Yeah, that was Ainak. And next, uh, we will have Absentus, and Ilka Kankare has provided us the next video. Hi, my name is Ilkka and I'm from Absentus. We design new products and services for cemeteries, public spaces and parks. And we would love to find a student to help us in marketing. And specifically, we need to create a whole bunch of marketing videos, uh, which we would then publish on our own marketing channels and sites, including absentus.com, aboutdesign.com, haudenhoito.fi and muistomerkit.com. If you already know how to make videos and want to learn more in practice, please be in touch. The work could start tomorrow. Wonderful. Thank you for Ilka for this and uh, the work can start tomorrow. So, so be quick. Yeah. Um, so uh, the third one is at composites and we have, I think we have also online Pravin Luthada, but uh, we have a, a video that you have uh, made beforehand. So let's, let's see the video scene, please. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to understand and learn more about what at composites is all about and uh, what we are looking forward to from Omnia. Uh, so what uh, at composite does is uh, we are a machine tool manufacturer, the like of what you see in the in the video here. Um, these are used for production of high end materials. Uh, what we're looking for is a multimedia student who can help us with the definitely the, the more video creation and knowledge distribution. Uh, but also because we do software development uh, for our own can also add value to that and also the hardware development if they have some ideas and thoughts they would like to share um, they get to work with uh, quite good multimedia uh, sorry, multi international team uh, that is able to bring a lot of knowledge of what we have gained through over past two to three years while building this company um, and we hope to see you with art composites and learning more in this journey along with us. Thank you. Thank you. So this was Ad Composites. And again, uh, this will be uh, on the event page online soon. So next uh, we have Kronoverk 
and uh, it's a video Reima Koivukoski. Hello everyone, my name is Reima Koivukoski and I am the founder of Kronoverk, the watch and micro engineering laboratory. Kronoverk uh, was established at the start of this year and we do contract work for watch repair shops and high-tech space companies. Uh, on the watch repair side, we refurbish and repair watches for clients in, in Finland and in Germany. For companies in space sector, uh, we offer prototyping services and small batch precision manufacturing. Uh, for you, we can offer exciting opportunity to be a part of creating Chronoverk's image since we are a new firm in the field and, for example, the tasks for you would be to refresh our website and social media by creating new content and make it more co cohesive. This would include, for example, taking pictures, editing them, recording videos and creating other material. We are looking for someone who is more open-minded and has good communication skills and innovative uh, mindset. We also hope that your writing skills are fluent in English since Kronoberg's communication language in our website and social media is English, but we can speak Finnish uh, during work or English, doesn't matter. It would uh, be ideal if you could do your work learning period in January or February but we are also open for other timings. We hope that you are interested in our work-based learning offer. Thank you, Kronoverk. And the uh, last video that we have uh, on the list is Sensmet and Tommy Laurila. Clean water drives the world. Water scarcity is globally the biggest challenge for the upcoming decades. By 2025, two-thirds of the world's populations are likely to face water shortages. Water is the next oil. To tackle this challenge, more efficient water processes and more effective environmental protection of natural water bodies needs to take place. It all starts from better water quality monitoring. And for this purpose, SenseMet has developed a breakthrough solution. Our idea behind the company was born from a university research eight years ago. The founders started developing unique microplasma technology for real-time water monitoring, technology that SenseMet today possesses. The great results obtained and the clear industrial and environmental need encouraged us to found SenseMet in 2017. In the last 18 months, our experienced team has achieved a lot. By bootstrapping the high-tech development, we have finished our first analyzer product and grown the SenseMet team to four full-time employees. We have gained good customer traction in industrial and environmental monitoring segments, generating over 200,000 sales just in Finland. Our main business areas are industrial process optimization and environmental monitoring. In mining and metals production, for example, vast amounts of water are being used. If the water quality changes in the process, as it does, the changes should be detected as rapidly as possible, because otherwise the production yield will be affected. Real-time multi-component water monitoring significantly improves the understanding of production processes in steel and mining industry and prevents unexpected and expensive process shutdowns. One of our customers has calculated that they can increase the yield by more than 1% by using the SenseMet water monitoring technology, corresponding to 1 million euro annual extra profits. The lives of millions of people all around the world depend on the availability of clean water. Let us transform the future of water analytics together. Thank you, and uh, this was Sense Met. And thank you, Tina. And um, I understand you have to uh, hurry to next things. So now um, 
sokerina pohjalla, as we say in Finnish, so the best part is yet to come. So the startups that have invested their time uh, and want to share and who are still here with us and uh, have the next say what they have to, uh, uh, what they would like to do with Omnia. So um, on my list, I have this order Kyky today, Inno Edu, Kumukore, Netradar and Tramigo. So, uh, Vaniala, Vekki ja Mikkola, uh, happy to have you here. Uh, have you got some uh, presentation to share or uh, will you just uh, uh, talk right. with us? Yes, I just prepared a presentation just yeah. like slides. So I can share the screen now mm -hmm. and we can go through together. Okay. Yep, it's there. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, thanks for the invite. Um, I'm the chief marketing officer at QQ Today, and I'm happy today to show what we are doing about. So QQ Today is basically a social working platform, allowing people with ideas and skills to you know, go online or face to face and make a difference. The characteristics of QQ Today is to set people free to choose uh, their passion, to do what they love to do, and also to work whenever and whatever they want. Uh, there's not any bosses at QQ Today, but people are bosses to themselves. Specifically, we are working on um, uh, several sectors like home and maintenance and repair jobs, moving and cleaning services, care and wellness like uh, um, yoga teachers or um, sport and trainers, creative and IT jobs like web developers, programmers, photographers, videographers, uh, other jobs related to online uh, learning and coaching on several subjects and uh, catering and entertainment jobs like cooks, chefs, event planners. Uh, specifically today, we are looking for a person that will be look, working with us. Uh, we call it a community builder, Finnish speaker. So someone in charge of our social media uh, channels, uh, able to uh, create um, strong engagement with our users and with our communities. Uh, able also to do some kind of office uh, uh, job like responding to email of course and do some kind of translation job we are a highly international team so we need like a, a Finnish uh, uh, we have already one Finnish person with us but he's more a tech guy so we need just a student to help us with the daily uh, maintenance of our jobs and at the same time we are also inviting other students for example the talents we call it like that interested that will be able to join our platform and start this kind of entrepreneurship um, journey by themselves in a way. So in terms of skills, there is always a combination, I think, of hard skills and soft skills involved. I mean, hard skills, of course, is the one that students have been learning, uh, of course, at Omnia. And the soft skills are more those who are related to the personality, but also to the way, to the new way of uh, freelancing working, which means like reliability, good communication skills, uh, working etiquette, flexibility, organization, time man management, and so on. So um, this is our details. So if you want to work with us and join our revolution, please pre-register at our website at qq.today or keep in touch with me by dropping an email and at the same time, follow our social media channel channels to get in touch with us daily. Thank you. Thank you, Vania. And uh, before going to uh, Inno Edu, I would like to um, remind that Omnia has something like seven or 8,000 vocational uh, students. Half of them are adult, uh, adults that have already some, some uh, work uh, background and understand how the working life uh, works. And uh, when you have this kind of specific needs, um, then we can handpick uh, just those students that might be suited for, suitable for you, but also that uh, your uh, expectations might be suitable for, for their uh, study path. Of course, yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay, uh, let's uh, move on to uh, Inno Edu. So, is it uh, which of you, Mukul, are you about to? present. Uh, hi, uh, we are actually both here, <laughs> both co-founders of Inaru. Uh, we have sent a short uh, video link to Seem. I don't know if he can play it. Uh, uh, let's see, Seem, uh, did you hear? Can you find the link? <laughs> hey, is it possible that uh, we... Okay, yeah. Okay, now it goes. Moi! That's finished for high. 
Another Finnish word you should probably know is oppin, our name. It also means I learn, in case you were wondering. Not only is Finland one of the happiest and safest countries in the world, we're also pioneers in technology and education. That's why Opin have made it our mission to apply those two skills to empower schools, teachers, parents, and students all over the world to learn more and perform better. That's powerful stuff! And it's all packaged in our ready-to-go online matchmaking platform that enables everyone involved to connect, collaborate, and co-create. A global exchange program to accelerate the development of skills needed to stay ahead. How, you may ask? Simple! Our growing partner ecosystem is not only an effective networking platform linking educational technologies and solutions providers with schools and institutions around the world, it's also a bustling international marketplace with access to the best e-learning solutions on the planet, all set for a rapid local deployment. And the best part? It's free for schools and teachers to sign up. Here's to learning something new today and tomorrow. Obi, empowered to educate. That was powerful stuff. Yeah. Perhaps Thanks you so now much. share ideas, uh, what kind of uh, students you would like to uh, collaborate with. Yes, thank you so much for, for introducing uh, uh, OPIN. So OPIN is our educational platform. And uh, we also have educational uh, content as well there, what we are developing. So we are looking for a quite big variety of students who would like to explore different areas. Marketing, uh, social media, video content would be one area. Software development, game development also, as we are developing educational content, uh, gamified educational content. Also operations, sales as well. And uh, uh, basically, uh, we are open for many things. So it's even OK if uh, students are sending us some open application, we can review it. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. Wonderful. So um, next we have um, Kumukore and um, is there Jose Costa Requena uh, online? From the participant list, I don't see that one or any uh, any person from Kumukore. Risco, maybe I can go ahead because I have a next meeting starting yeah. soon. Yeah, thank you, Claudia. Okay. Go on. Yeah. So let me just share quickly. And this is NetRider. Exactly. This is NetRider, and um, I have a short, like a short presentation on who we are. So NetRider is a company started in Alto a few years back from technology developed within Alto University, and it's a technology that helps mobile operators identify when there is poor network performance. It's a very different way of making business. So we're not the same as everyone else doing crowdsourcing and taking mobile phone data and just selling data, but we really understand networks. And in a way we are a technology company. We are not selling any data. We just provide a solution for mobile operators. Our business is a little bit more complicated than all other businesses we have been hearing here today because we actually are a B2B company. So we're talking more to mobile operators uh, worldwide, and we are trying, to, of course, to make our communication online as clear as possible to manage to gather interest from the mobile operators. And as you understand, those companies are very, very big and very, very difficult to break through. So we need someone who is interested in telecommunication, who is interested in network and in radio um, network building and network operation in itself and can actually understand and help us write uh, meaningful articles because if you can see from our website wait here there is a big banner that doesn't allow me to go to our website as you can see from our inside page which you are very welcome to to have a look at it we are writing very often super technical articles and we are by intention wanting to stay in the super uh, technical level even if google is not always supporting when your articles are at the higher level. So we are looking for someone who is able to help us with the social media. Uh, if they're not capable of writing yet in English, 
uh, those kind of complex article, we are okay to find someone who maybe can write small snapshot for the LinkedIn page. We are posting rather often also on the LinkedIn page, which I still cannot see now. It is very strange the way this Zoom is made. So if you can see on LinkedIn, we finally have managed to gain a pretty good audience of 634 followers. And we do write regularly small updates on 5G and generic telecom news. So if the student is not capable of writing immediately complex um, articles, maybe they can help us in the other social media like Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook that we use also regularly to write smaller snapshot of industry news. So this is in short, of course, if we find someone also capable with the graphic and video as everyone has been requesting, they're very hot nowadays and everyone needs them because a lot of the communication on social media is via videos and pictures. But if you have any questions, you can, of course, contact me and I'm the CMO, by the way, so of NetRadar. Thank you, Claudia. And, and once again, sorry for uh, sort of exceeding the time. No worries. Okay. And then... Um, is there a Marcus Vajane from Tramigo present? Yes, hello, I'm here. Wonderful. And, uh, and um, yeah, I would love to, to, to give you a short introduction to my company due to the uh, time change as well. I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm currently just going from one place to another. But, uh, but let's go quickly through. Uh, Tramigo is a, is a truly global player in, um, in, in a tracking market. Let me just share my screen. Uh, just one second. And, um, and, and we provide solutions for, um, for, for companies all over the world. Uh, we have most of our customers are in, in Africa, Latin America. And, uh, and also in, in some Asian countries. And, uh, and we de really developed this technology a uh, big part in Otaniemi, in, uh, in, in the facilities with, uh, with, with ATRID. And we are also uh, present uh, in, in other markets with, with our own staff. And, uh, and we really look for students that could come and, uh, and, and work with us in, in this global environment. And we need people that can assemble. We need people that can also uh, work uh, with, uh, with, with the customer support and, uh, and, and take part in, in different functions of the company. So uh, we are very, very keen on receiving applications from, from different parts and from different kinds of students and uh, and I welcome everyone to to contact us and uh, and let's take it from there thank you very much thank you so much uh, Marcus and once again we have a company that uh, is already quite a wide uh, wide and uh, operative already and there are many different opportunities so if you are a student and listening to these uh, presentations don't be intimidated or afraid that okay oh these are so big beautiful wonderful companies and i'm just a student hey every company is based on individuals that have some skills and they are a team working together so most likely you have some skills and competencies that uh, these uh, startups can can um, uh, hone and develop even further with you. Let's see, um, have I missed someone? Is there somebody uh, uh, participating who would like to uh, present their company still? Hey, my name is Jason Salvarajan, and I'm going to tell you how we're going to make showering more sustainable. So a normal shower, you might know, uses about 8 liters a minute. Uh, and we've invented a shower that uses about 10 liters of water total. So how does that work? Basically, you take your 10 liter bucket of water, you pour it into the shower system. This could also be a tap. Then a pump pressurizes the system, pumps the water through a series of filters, which cleans it from particulates and such. But then there can still be some bacteria in the water, so we use a UV lamp to sterilize it. That way it's safe to recirculate. And a water heater is used to keep the water temperature at whatever temperature you desire. That way you can loop it around and 
no matter how long you're in there, it's always going to be less than a normal shower. And that's where the financial savings and resource savings come in. It's also got some modes, so you can skip the shower, the filter system if you need to, and you can even pee in there. <laughs> So uh, we've made a bunch of different designs and um, the newest one is here and basically what it really enables is living off the grid because generally the electricity problem has been solved, the toilet problem has been solved, but the water is still an issue with tiny houses. Um, so we're being contacted a lot by different kinds of builders. Here is one, one version and they always like to put shower loop in there. Anyway, we're manufacturing and selling this kit and uh, we need help both kind of building the kits and designing the kit, but then also making the kit uh, easy to assemble. So videos, tutorials, graphics, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're interested, contact me and I can't wait to hear from you. Bye. Okay. Then, hey, uh, especially Omnia folks and why not uh, startups to each other? Any questions or further comments uh, for the startups? Nothing? Okay, hey, uh, Ullamaya, what do you think um, when the startups now think that, hey, is there actually anything happening? And so uh, how should we proceed or uh, should they contact Makerspace or you in order to ask for more or what is the best way of, of sort of uh, going forward? Well, now we took all the information from the startups and um, we have to now uh, do the plan how to how to now go go on. So I think we will we will uh, contact the teachers and inform about your startups and uh, the needs, different kind of needs. And of course, uh, we will inform the students to, to contact you as soon as possible, um, especially those who are um, almost at the end of their studies. But uh, hopefully the students and you will contact later, but um, we will try to help and work as, as much as we can help you. So. Let's cross our fingers. So, but please uh, come to the uh, workplace training. Uh, so then you have more information how to how to help the students because, like I said, it's it's not uh, obligatory right now. But but of course it's help helps both parties and um, it will be very very interesting for you also. Yeah. But, to keep in touch and, and um, we will talk with ESCO and, and see the information from the video later and, and um, inform. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of you. It's been a pleasure to work here in Otaniemi and online with you, not only in this work-based uh, learning uh, issues, but uh, all over the uh, Omnia Makerspace concept. So um, thank you from our behalf and once again, sorry for this uh, technical hassle. We still don't know what, what the issue is currently uh, on the Makerspace pages, but uh, this information uh, that the startups have provided with us uh, already is there online and the contact information is there. So especially if you're a student and uh, you will find the information there, uh, get connected or ask help from your teacher. Thank you for all and uh, it's goodbye from the studio. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Hey, Merry Christmas. Kitos. Bye bye. Bye bye.